Good morning. How is everyone? So, funny story. <laughs> I went to Dollar Tree to get some things to do a craft with. I saw this craft. I thought it was really cute, and I thought it could be cute as a Mother's Day gift. Now, the person's video that I watched had a tray <laughs> that had a divider in it, and she put four pots in it, in that tray. And she said she got the tray at Dollar Tree. My Dollar Tree did not have the tray. So I guess you could use some other kind of tray without the divider. I'm just gonna do one. And then if you wanna do four, that's up to you. I'm probably gonna do four and set them in a tray because it was so cute. But the funny part of the story is I picked up a whole bunch of different stuff. I've been looking for a wiffle ball because one of the crafts I want to do is you take a wiffle ball and you glue flowers in the holes, right? So this is the only thing that I saw that remotely looked like a wiffle ball and it's a, a skip thing, which I'm not going to do. Tracy's not going to try that because I, I would break something because I'm a klutz. But I was like, oh, well, this will work because I can just paint the paint the ball. Look at it. I didn't know. I didn't know. And I can't get that thing out of there. So I got tickled when I pulled it out of the bag this morning and it started doing all that. I was like, well, that's, I don't know if that's going to work for my craft. Because I don't know if I want my craft, yeah, doing that. So anyway, that was my funny for this morning. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just paint the pot. And I'm just going to use this home decor chalk paint in the color Cottage White. I, anytime you go to Dollar Tree, try to pick up these. I absolutely love that size of paintbrush for things, for bigger things. So if you see these at Dollar Tree and you like it, hey, why is it? Okay. Okay. Come on. Don't embarrass me. There you go. Okay. Now it's working. Why are you full of dust? <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna squeeze some of the white paint on here. So let me turn you down. Okay. Okay, this one's almost empty, so I'm just gonna try to get as much out of it as we can. Okay, that might be enough to start with. And I'm gonna paint the bottom because, <clears throat> excuse me, because I want to test out something. I have a it's like a stain and the color is teal and i just want to see what it looks like over this paint so i'm just going to test it out on the bottom and that way if it doesn't work out i will not mess up my beautiful painted pot now you could paint your pot in any color that you like And of course, I didn't put my crafting apron on again. <laughs> Ty told me in the comments the other day that she has a crafting apron. I said, yeah, me too. Except I forget to put it on. I, I don't usually get it all over me too much. I get it on my hands, but it'll wash off my hands. Now, unless I'm using stain because I did my nails last night and they're looking good. So I really don't want to mess them up. Okay, and then I'm gonna use a tiny little paintbrush, which I had right here, just to test out this. It's Color Wash Tint, and the color is Weathered Copper, which, I mean, how could you not love Weathered Copper? I love anything copper. So I'm just gonna put that right there and just see what it looks like. I wonder if I put it on with a cloth and just make it super, super thin. I kind of like it. Okay, I'm going to um, put on a pair of gloves and get a cloth and get this paint off my hand. So, I'll be right back. Hi. Uh, yeah, so it's been like an hour because, you know, I had to go put laundry in and water my plants. I'm trying to get some veg vegetables planted 
in between making videos and working and doing all the things. So, okay. So now I'm gonna take a cloth, same cloth I used for my stain, and I am just going to dab a little bit of this. Again, it is color wash tint, one step water-based tint, and the color is weathered copper. I love this stuff. It, this is the first time I've ever bought it and used it. I mean, I used it on another project. And it's just, it's just a cool looking stain. So I'm just gonna kinda, I don't want it to be too strong, but you can see a little goes a long way and they have a lot of different colors. I'm, I got it at Hobby Lobby, but I'm sure they have it at Joann's or Michael's. And to the people who don't have a Hobby Lobby, I am so sorry. Hobby Lobby is like the best. So I can't imagine. I mean, I think it's I think it's a cool store. Everybody might not agree with me, but I like it because they um, they're always having half price sales on everything. So you got to know when to go if you're looking for flowers. All their flowers go half price every other week. So you never want to buy flowers on the week that is not half price because that would be silly. Just wait another week unless you're in desperate need for them. I like that color. Do y'all like that color? I hope I didn't drift off the screen because I'm trying to watch what I'm <laughs> watch what I'm doing and watch the screen at the same time. So um, I'm not gonna worry about the inside because I am going to put this in it and I think it will cover the inside. So the next thing we're gonna do is take these gloves off. The Dollar Tree has these cool little metal, it's called metal ribbon. And the person I saw do the craft bought four different ribbons and she used a different ribbon around the top on each one. And inside the pot, she used a different type of greenery. So she used a one kind of fern and then maybe another kind of fern and then one of them beaded flowy things. I don't know. She had all different kinds. Okay, so I'm gonna choose for this one. It doesn't matter because I'm gonna make some more and I'm gonna put one of these on each one. But I'm just giving you the idea for one. Now, this ribbon, it was in the dollar section. You know, uh, Dollar Tree has a more expensive section now. But I didn't see it the first time I walked through. And so I asked one of the girls who works there, isn't that pretty, if they had some of this. And she said, I think it's sold out. But if we have it, it's on aisle four or whatever. So I went back to aisle four and just walked up and down the aisle. And I finally saw it and it was kind of pushed back. I, I don't know if somebody had pushed it back or if. It just got pushed back. Can I cut this with scissors? Oh, sure. Sure. I mean, I'll break my scissors, but that's okay. <laughs> They're so inexpensive. <laughs> oh, that was meant to be funny, just in case. All right, I got to let my glue gun heat up. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and put this in there. This also came from Dollar Tree. It is, uh, uh, it's just a piece of block foam. And I liked this because it was already cut in sections. Uh, because cutting this stuff makes my teeth hurt. And I'm just gonna cut off the corner. Oh god, I hate that. Ugh, ugh. I can't stand it. Ugh. Oh, no. Gotta cut some more. Oh. That is a sound that just, it just, it kills me. It kills me. All right, we'll just make a little square and shove it down in there. And now let's throw this away. Because it's, I can't, I can't take it. I can't take it. And again, I have to clean as I go. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this shorter because I want it to be kind of inside the pot. So I'm gonna cut it to about right there, I think. Right there, about right there. Now, you wouldn't have to use the metal ribbon, but I thought it was really pretty. I just thought it was something different. And like I said, I think this might be a cool Mother's Day gift if you are blessed enough to still have your mother. I know my mother would have loved it. Because my mother loved, and my mother loved everything. She loved plants and outdoor stuff. I'm gonna unwrap some of that. 
and expose those wires and then I'm gonna shove it down in that. Oh gosh, there's that sound again. Oh. Okay, and then it'll fold over like that. Okay, I might put some moss in it. It's not uh, filling that up quite like I had hoped. Okay, let's apply our wire. Y'all remember that movie for my older people? It's from, oh, it's an old movie. Well, where'd my wire go? It's from, I mean, a long time ago. I think it was Faye Dunaway, Mommy Dearest. And she would say, no wire hangers. Every time I say wire, I think of that movie. No wire hangers. All right. And when it comes out the front, let it cool off a little, just a little, and then just kind of wipe it off. She may have used E6000 glue, but I don't know why the glue gun won't hold it. I think it'll be fine. And if not, we'll take it back off and put some E6000. Now, if you're new to crafting and you don't have materials and all that stuff, but you want to start trying stuff, the Dollar Tree does sell a little glue gun. So if you don't have the money or don't want to invest a lot to see if you're going to like it, just go get you one of those Dollar Tree glue guns. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Oh, because she's got a treat. Well, you're a big dog. You're bigger than her. And I'm sure there's another treat somewhere with your name on it. So it's not the only, you are the biggest crybaby. Mommy loves you. Yeah, mommy loves you. Oh my goodness. It's pitiful. Y'all, he's crying because she's got a treat and he wants it. I put two down. So either, either he wasn't quick enough and she grabbed both of them, which is sometimes the case. Or, he's already eaten his and he wants hers, which is a lot of times the case. Because she will not eat her treat until she goes potty. And he will. <laughs> Alright, let me get, grab some moss to put in here. Okay, y'all, we got the dog saga figured out. I went and got where someone, probably him, left a part of a treat on the floor in the office and I picked it up and I threw it down the hall and I think she thought it was a new treat and she went and grabbed it and left hers unattended. So he went and grabbed the one he wanted. So now everybody's happy, I guess. He's 12 years old and he has my entire heart, but sometimes he is the whiniest dog. When he wants something, and she has it. And he's bigger than her. I'm like, just go get it. But it's the games they play. All right, so there's that. All right, that's this craft. Hope you enjoyed it. It's Saturday. I hope to get this video out early. And I love you, and Jesus loves you. And have a great day. And I, have a great day. Have I said have a great day? Okay, just ignore the... Um, for a rug that they're laying on. My sister bought me that thinking that I could, oh, there's glue in the floor, thinking that I could use that for my gnomes. Don't look at my legs and my feet, um, sh but I couldn't cut it. So now he has that treat. She has that treat. I guess they're both happy, but she didn't want to eat that treat. She didn't want to eat the other treats. She just wants to rule over it, if you will. And don't you love my wooden floors? They're original to the house, 1964. My craft room is a mess, but... And that's my bedroom, and I'm washing laundry, so don't judge me. But here's my craft room. I put that shelf there and covered that sign, and I need to move it because I love that sign. Be thankful, live simply, do your best, laugh often, and love lots. That's all I can read of it right now. And I found those wings at a yard sale. And that's a shirt I want to sew up. It's just a mess. It's it's a mess. There's my little crafting table. But I use an ironing board. Uh-huh, because I like to stand up. So, 
anyway, there's a rare glimpse into my messy craft room. So don't judge me. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.